ready? It's the Roundtable with me, Robert Bannon. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Roundtable. Thanks for listening to us on the Broadway Podcast Network, or if you're watching us on YouTube, it's great to be here. You know, I love a little grungy, a little underground. A little, I'm from a time, I'm from 1980. I'm born in 83. And I remember, you know, community access television. I remember my high school having one. I remember people being all the cool kids hanging out on the channels that after the shows aired would be, you know, snow static rainbow lines or, you know, community uh, announcements. Well, there was a show, there was a show uh, that's called Candied Camera and it is celebrating its anniversary with a special show. It is coming for four nights to La Mama and Nora Burns is here to tell us all about it. Welcome to the Hi. show. Thank you for having me. So. Nora, you assembled a fun lineup of special guest stars like Michael Musto, Kevin Aviance, who's a legend, legend, yep. queer community, New York community, nightlife legend, Lauren Erzeski, Linda Simpson. Like you, you put together this cast of performers, this lineup of special guests. What are you going to do when you do this show? Well, the thing is, I did this show in like 1993 and um, for like three or four years and public access was just, you know, it was a ridiculous thing. And it was just something I wanted to do in the middle of doing everything else because, you know, I was out all the time and, you know, doing crazy wacky downtown theater and had all these friends who were doing it too. So we did this um, cable show at Gay Cable Network, which wasn't really a network. It was a sex club that doubled as a TV studio and they had a little editing room where they'd, you know, run off the porn videos, but then they'd also, they had one show called, um, uh, gay USA that I think is still going that they would do out of there. And that was their serious show. So they did have like, you know, they would move the sling and pull down a scrim and have a, um, you know, an actual, show out of there. So Lou Maletto was this leather queen who ran the place and he was great. I mean, he'd been around since the sixties and seventies and he'd been videotaping things way back in like in the eighties, like, you know, early gay pride parades and act up, you know, marches and stuff like that. So, um, and he was a friend of mine just from around. So I said, Lou, I want to do a wacky show with drag queens and go-go boys and guests and all this. So he's like, yeah, sure, okay, go, go, go ahead. So, um, so I did it and then Lou died about, I don't know, 10 or 15 years ago. And because he'd archived all this stuff, his tapes went to um, the Fails Library. Cause I'd forgotten about the show. I finished doing it in 1996 and, you know, was just like, oh, I'll never see that again. Um, cause yeah, it was on at 2 AM on a Tuesday and I didn't keep, no one had anything, kept anything back then. So, um, so anyway, so when I found out Fails Library had his stuff, I was like, oh, I wonder if they have my show. They wouldn't have my show, but I called them and they were like, oh yeah, we have your show. So, um, so anyway, so about five years ago, they digitized it for me and sent, they didn't have all the episodes. I probably did like 50 episodes. They maybe had 35. Um, so I just had them sitting on my Vimeo, like. You know, and and I I can't look at them like to me they're just so like oh my god like ridiculous, and cringy and you know whatever. Um, and a couple of years ago, World of Wonder was doing um, a show about old cable, so they were like, oh, can we do your old cable show? I'm like, yeah, sure, have it. But then um, I was like, but you know, no one signed releases back then, and all of a sudden they were like, oh yeah, no one signed releases, so forget it. And so anyway, so it sat again for another year. And then um, La Mama offered me a show. And I'd just done this show, this disco musical at Dixon Place called The Village. Um, and I'd done my previous show at La Mama, David's Friends. So I was like, oh, what should I do? And my director from The Village is this young, amazingly talented um, director. And so I was like, is there anything we could do with these crappy old, you know, cable shows I have? So we kind of came up with the idea that it's a live, you know, like I'm completely deluded that this show was actually good. And, um, and I'm bringing it back for its 30th anniversary. So he, it, it's all Adam. It's seriously all Adam. Piverato is the genius behind this. And, um, He's done all these crazy video clips. And then we brought, you know, we're bringing some guests, you know, we're having live guests, like all of those people were actually on the show at the time. 
And then I have a couple of other friends who were on the show at the time who were going to come back. And um, and then we've made this mockumentary where, where or he has, he's done everything, um, that, you know, is me delusionally walking around, like, you know, talking about how excited I am to bring the show back and interviewing people like, you know, Musto and Mark Jacobs going like, Candy Camera was, I mean, that was the show that everyone wanted to be on. And so anyway, so it's just a, a, a wackadoo shot out it's, of a cannon. No, but, but, show. but, but in all serious, Nora, you know, we, you could say it's a wackadoo. Fun, and when you see the clips and when you see it, and get your tickets at lamama.org, by the way. And if you want to follow Nora, go to Nora Burns NYC on, on Instagram. You could follow and stay on top of it and what's going on. But I want to say in, in reality, you were a part of the downtown, you know, all the cool kids in New York City. No, nope. you put the show up. <laughs> so wasn't. And you put people on there like RuPaul and you put people on there like Jennifer Coolidge and, and Michael Musto back in the day. And you were a part of this community and you're filming it in a gay studio club, something. You, you're a part of, you were ahead of its time. Like this is now you know, mo mockumentaries and, and, and satire and and um, and the, the characters that were on that show and you making fun of pop culture, that's become what's in now. You were doing this all these years ago. Well, y you know, I think the mock is now. Back then, I didn't know what I was doing. And it's, uh, I mean, yeah. It's but you, you were, go-go you, boys, queer culture, drag queens, trans lives, you were you were a part of that community when the when the rest of the world had not caught up to to that. Right. How did you but, find yourself in that world? Well, it was New York. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't so special or unusual to be in that world if you were in New York. That was I moved here in 1979, and that was immediately my world. And but it was a lot of other people's worlds because that was the world of New York. I mean. It wasn't like, you know, oh my God, you're so special because you hung out with drag queens. It was like, yeah, that's who was here. So <laughs> that was it. It's just because I'm old. That's the yeah. only reason I'm cool, you know? <laughs> well, the show is February 1st till February 4th. Just so you know, it's at 7.30 on uh, Thursday and through Saturday. And then there's a five o'clock show on Sunday. And again, the ticket's $30 and $25 at lamama.org. So when you started to get this footage and get this idea, how do you build a show? How do you build this show? How did you, is there a script? Is it improv? Is it going to change every night? I, well, I don't believe in improv. There's no improv. I like, I'm just, you know, I have a sketch comedy group called Unitard and I'm, I'm all about things being written down. Um, so we do, we, we have a script, you know, that Adam and I came up with, with like, and, and we have this wonderful choreographer, Robin Kerrigan, who we worked with. We're, we're like all the same team from The Village, my disco musical. So she's doing, we have these like 60 year old go-go boys. So, so it's like, I have my original go-go boys back. So she's done some numbers with them. And, um, you know, and then we, we sort of are combining, you know, little clips and like Adam's found a way to take tiny little clips to make the show look much funnier and cooler than it actually was. Um, and, uh, so we yeah and then you know and then we have like you know guests will come on and i'll interview them and then we'll show some little clips and then in between there'll be more little clips and then i'll do like you know questions from the audience but they're fake questions you know so um it's it's kind of like i we have no idea what it's gonna it's shot out of a cannon but it is scripted because i don't like improv that goes Not on it. too long you know yeah. i mean the, the interviews with our guests that's the one chunk that will be in, you know, different every night. We'll show a clip from when they were on the show and then we'll, you know, that'll be more like actually talking to, to friends and, you know. Well, this is, this is going to be a fun, and, and it's not just for people who remember the show or were from that time. It's going to be entertaining and, and, and a good time. I'm sure it is going to be a circus of, of, of debauchery and laughs. And I hope so. It yeah, sure no is. Right. Well, we had, you know, you could show anything on cable. I mean, it was, you know, I had nasty videos on my show. So <laughs> my friend Len Whitney, who did the videos for Boy Bar, he made videos for my, and, I mean, it's like, you can't believe what you could show back then. It was insane. It was like, you know, Jeff Stryker jerking off and, you know, I mean, just crazy. <laughs> shit. Standing so. camera live. 
When is it going to come out? Uh, when are we going to see all of the episodes? Is there ever a chance that we would see all the episodes up on social media or on? Oh, I hope not. No, because <laughs> it's almost like Oz. Like, you don't want to open the curtain because it's actually hideous. <laughs> Where did you get the chutzpah at your this time in your life to say I'm gonna put this on in the middle of the night? I'm gonna do a TV show. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. Let's just put it up. Oh, back then I don't know because that's just what you know. It was that DIY cult. There was no TikTok or internet. Like you were out all the time and you had to make your own entertainment and you know you just had to find shit to do because no one stayed home there was nothing to do at home we all had crappy little apartments so you're right. just like okay i'll put on a show here and put on a show there and everyone just put on shows wherever they could you know when you hear from people i'm sure you've heard people who remember the show or watched the show <laughs> only if they were maybe up at like three in the morning on a thursday yeah I got it and i got it uh, this is going to be saucy skits, performances, interviews, multimedia. Your guess is as good as mine. I love yeah. this. This. <laughs> <laughs> Why La Mama? You know, they, they, it's newly renovated. It's beautiful there. You know. Uh, I shouldn't say that. It's, it is a great place to see a show. <laughs> no, I, I, love, I love La Mama. And I love, you know, I, and I did like, my show, David's Friend, was the last show before they closed the club to renovate it. And, you know, I think they took all the personality out of it. It looks like a conference room now. Nice. But so, you know, we're we're trying to, you know, Stephen Hamill, who's my set decorator from the village is, and who's brilliant. He's going to try to make it look, you know, as fucked up in DIY yeah. as, you know, we can. But, um you know, it's like there's no stage anymore. There's no backstage. There's no bar. There's no, it's like, you know, there's perfect little floors. I, I don't know. It just yeah, No, you, it's not New York unless you stick to the floor and you, you know, I get it. I get it. Yeah. And I, Nora, you're fun because you're like grunge rock and roll. Let's put on a show. I'm here for, you're my kind of people. Oh, good. Okay. Well, good. You're, you're my kind of, February 1st. Yes. February 4th. Yep. How did and, you get um, your guests to Kevin say Kevin Avians is the first night. Linda Simpson's the second night. Musto is the third. And uh, Lauren Nazerski is closing night. So that's our lineup of the special guests. It's a and fun. And then, you know, other guests every night. So Kevin Avians has finally gotten some due for the amount of work that he's put into this community. And he's been out here singing and performing and, and working. He his does my hair. Too. Get out of here. Yeah. He is an amazing hairdresser. Who knew? I know. Who knew? Who knew? And now, so be, fabulous. now Beyonce and Madonna are calling him and, and being part. So, you know, like he, he, it's time for him to get his due. Um, we can follow you on social media. Yep. We can find you at Nora Burns NYC. Oops. All right. Sorry. And you're, no. And then we can also I, go. Wait, I lost you. Hold on. Hold on. Where are you? There you are. Okay. We're here. Okay. Yeah, I know. Thank you. No, I did something to <laughs> swipe away a text, and I'm so old, I swiped everything away. So, and we could go to Lamama on the phone. No, you're amazing. You can go to Lamama.org. And what I want to say, even though you're not going to take this credit, thank you for being a voice. Thank you for creating art, and thank you for for Pitts being a part of a community that, at a time, the world did not really accept or or appreciate. And it's be people like you that have given queer culture and downtown culture and the outcasts of society a chance to perform and be. So thank you for the for, for being a, a place to this yeah. day. Thank the place for being there. It was, you know, such a fun place to be. So I, I look forward to it. February 1st to the 4th. I'm going to have to stop in one of those nights and give you a big hug. I hope you do, please. And please stay and say hi and all that. So. Yes, please. <laughs> Absolutely. I Thank need you. to. I, I love it. And I appreciate you. Thank you so much for being okay. here. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for having me on. There you have it. Can you imagine a show at three o'clock in the morning on a Tuesday with go go boys and inappropriate videos and in 1990? Goodness. Gotta love it. Well, this is the round table. You never know who you're going to get here. You may get. You might get this, you might get that, you might get a little bit of everything. It's Broadway week, it's television stars, it's drag queens, it's gospel artists. We put on everyone here too as well. 
We are just a messy, messy show, and I'm so happy you're here. Thank you for listening to us on the Broadway Podcast Network or watching us here. If you want more information about me, follow me at Robert M. Bannon on Instagram or go to robertbannon.com. And as always, the best is yet to come. Thanks so much for being here, and I will see you again next time right here on the roundtable. Goodbye, everybody.